Cash for your collectibles at Smitty's Cards and Coins. We're having a food drive today. It was from um, 9 until 1. And the community's been really super and helping us out and donating food, and we really appreciate it. Um, who does this benefit? This benefits the veterans of foreign wars, the VFW Post on Homestead, and it also for Food for Thought. So we're kind of splitting it up between the two of us. And so this is your guys' last food drive for the season, right? Correct. This is our last one at Walmart right now. Uh, and um, everybody's been generous, and we really appreciate everyone coming out. Um, if people want to donate directly to you guys, where, how can they get in contact with you? Um, the Veterans of Foreign Wars were located on Homestead, and the food bank there is open Wednesday and Friday from 10 to 12. They can come in and drop off items if they'd like or monetary donations, whatever they would like to do for the holidays. So you guys have a full food bank now? like? Yes, we do. We have a freezer and we have a cooler and we can get non-perishable. We can have that now and perishable. So yes, we have a full food bank. We're having a food drive for the VFW and Food for Thought. It's a program that feeds our students kindergarten through high school uh, lunch, lunch, breakfast, lunch, and dinner on uh, the weekends. And then with the long weekend, it sends extra food home for those kids that don't have food at home so that when they come back to school on Monday, they're full and they're ready to learn instead of worrying about eating. So today for the food drive, you guys are also raising money for the, or raising food and money for the VFW. Right. So that gets split right in half, right? Right. Are you guys going to be collecting any more throughout the season or is this your last one? We can. Uh, you can always take food over to Car Studio over in the Nugget parking lot to Shamus. He collects for uh, Kiwanis, and he could take donations there.